Hi, I'm Ken Johnson. I'm a horticulture educator with the University of Illinois Extension, and today we're going to talk about creating terrarium ornaments. Terrarium ornaments are a great way to add some living decor to your home. They're also easy to make and a great way to include some kids in a craft project. To make a terrarium ornament, there's a few basic supplies you're going to need. Obviously, you'll need some sort of ornament. You can use plastic ornaments like this that can be snapped together, kind of like a clamshell. They also make ornaments that are specifically made for creating terrariums, and you can see they have these large holes in them. They come in plastic as well as glass, and there are also some of these terrarium ornaments that can be hooked together to create a chain. Next, you'll need to decide what type of plants you want to use. Some popular plants for creating terrarium ornaments include succulents like sedums or hens and chicks. Air plants are also quite popular, and you can also use something like moss. The types of plants you choose are going to play a role in what type of growing media you'll use when creating your terrarium ornament. If you're using succulents or some other sort of rooted plant, you want to use potting mix, and getting some activated charcoal may also be a good idea. If you're using air plants, you can use sand or small gravel to place your plants in, and if you're using moss, you can use soil or whatever that moss was growing on. You may also want to look for some decor to include in your terrarium ornament, such as rocks or sticks or bark. You can also use any kind of knickknacks laying around the house or look at for these in a craft store. You'll also want to get some string that you can use to hang your ornament with. And depending on the type of ornament you use, you may need to get some tape. A mister and tweezers can also be used, but they are not necessary to put together a terrarium ornament. The first terrarium we'll make, we're going to be using moss. You can find moss outdoors in shady areas of your landscape, or if you don't have any moss in your yard or you don't have a yard, it can also be purchased. If there are stores in your area that sell terrarium supplies, they may have moss, or there are also several companies online that will sell it. If you have a plastic clamshell-like ornament like this that's going to snap together, um, this is probably the best choice because moss is going to thrive in moist environments. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a scoop of this activated charcoal in the bottom of that ornament, and this is just going to kind of help collect some of that excess moisture that may be in the soil. Next, I'm going to take some of this moss that I found in my backyard. I'm going to put this into my ornament and kind of gently pack that down in there like this. Next, I can add any sort of trinkets or decor that I want. So I've, I've gone and collected some rocks in my backyard. So I will just stick these in there. And I also decided I'm going to use this little kind of evergreen Christmas tree uh, type ornament here. I'll stick that down in my moss. So then when I'm happy with that, I'll go ahead and put this ornament back together. And if you're using an ornament like this that's going to snap together, you want to try to put these little eye eyelets on either side of the ornament. That's going to hold best. And you can see uh, on this ornament, this side right here is on the top. So this is the side I'm going to want to tape in order to really hold this ornament together well so it doesn't fall apart when I go and hang it. So I'm just going to put a little tape on either side of this hook. So once I've got my tape on there, our ornament is ready to hang. Next we'll make a succulent terrarium ornament. So succulents can be found in many different nurseries and garden centers, as well as a variety of places online. Since succulents like drier conditions, an ornament that's got an open front like this is probably going to be the best option. So again, just like our moss, I'm going to put some of this activated charcoal down at the bottom. And again, this is going to kind of hold on to some of that excess moisture that may be in there so our growing media doesn't get too wet. Next, I'm going to put in that growing media. In this case, I've got some potting mix um, that's kind of specifically made for cactus or other succulents. And this has got a little more sand in it. It's a little bit looser. So it's not going to retain quite as much water. And fortunately, succulents are fairly shallow rooted, so we don't have to worry about having a tremendous amount of potting mix in here. And it's also going to be important to make sure you don't get too much so that it doesn't start spilling out of the opening here. Once we have our mix in there, we can start adding our decor, and you want to start working from the back to the front. So I'm going to put some rocks in here again that I found uh, in my yard. And if you have fat fingers like I do, this is where the tweezers may come in handy. So I've got some rocks. 
in there. I'm going to take some of my succulents here. I'm just going to make a little indentation there, stick my plants in there, and then kind of firm up that soil around those. And as those roots start growing, we'll kind of anchor themselves uh, much better into this mix. And these are kind of on the small end. Um, you can use much larger succulents in there. And I'm going to put one of my little snowmen in here. I should have put this in earlier, but better late than never. And since I'm going to go with a little bit of a, a winter theme here, I'm going to take some of this sand that I have, and I'm going to sprinkle that over our potting mix, kind of make it look like it has snowed. So I'll do another scoop in here. And then when you're happy with the way that looks, you can go ahead and put your string on your ornament it will be ready to hang. The last terrarium ornament we'll put together, we're going to use air plants. Air plants like these other plants we've used can be found in many different nurseries and garden centers, often lumped in with the cacti, as well as a variety of different places online. Air plants grow as epiphytes, so they don't need any soil to grow in. Instead of using their roots to take up nutrients, they use their roots to attach to plants and other rocky substrates. So for this ornament, I am going to use some sand as our kind of our growing media. This is basically just going to hold the, these air plants in place. And then when we're happy with the amount we have in there, again, we can add in any decor we may want, again, working from the back to the front. So here I've got my air plant. I'm going to stick that in there. And again, I'm kind of kind of twist that down into the sand so it's anchored in there fairly well. And then we'll add this little bird in there as some additional decor. And there we have our air plant terrarium ornament. So here we have the three ornaments we've made. We'll go through real quickly how to care for these. First for our moss ornament. Again, moss likes moist conditions. That's why we use this ornament that seals up. So hopefully we won't need to add any additional water to that. Moss thrives in kind of shady conditions, so indirect light is going to be best for these types of ornaments. For our succulents, succulents are going to like bright sunny conditions. So if you don't have those types of conditions in your house, you may need to use some supplemental or artificial lighting for these plants. Again, they also like dry conditions. That's why we use this ornament with the open front. So make sure that growing media dries out in between waterings. For our air plants, these are going to do best with bright indirect light preferably with an east or west facing window. There's a couple of different ways we can water these. First, we can mist these probably every other day, especially if you have a house with low humidity. You can also take these plants out of their ornaments, put them under running water a couple times a week and dry those off and put them back into your ornament. Or you can take them out once a week, submerge them in water for about 20 minutes to an hour, again, letting them dry off before you put them back into your ornament. So once you're done with your ornaments, you can hang them from your tree, but this isn't the only way you can use them. You can give them as gifts. You can use them as a centerpiece, put them on the mantle, especially if you have one of these flat bottom ornaments. You can also hang them from a hook in the ceiling and enjoy them throughout the year. Thanks for watching and keep on growing.